It's adults only at this modern Indian restaurant in Singapore's conservation district. The menu features a wide variety of cocktails, all designed for a grown-up palate, but some with a difference. This Indian margarita looks really interesting. It is quite a, a reasonable um, cocktail that you can have without having too much alcohol. If you prefer no alcohol in there, we, we have that option available for you as well. About 15% of our clientele opting for a zero-proof or a low ABV cocktail. I would say that um, consistently has been increasing uh, throughout the years. It's a trend seen throughout the world. The market for non- and low-alcohol drinks was worth 3.1 billion US dollars last year. Sales of low-alcohol wines, beers and spirits rose by over 8%. Sales of the non-alcohol versions did even better, rising by over 33%. We are seeing this across all demographics in Singapore. People are being more health conscious as a whole, although they drink alcohol, but they're still conscious of the health impacts of drinking too much alcohol. So they switch to zero or low alcohol alternatives. COVID-19 restrictions also altered the drinking habits of Singaporeans. Under public health measures, alcohol at food and beverage outlets must be sold and consumed by 10.30 p.m. Because of the earlier curfew for uh, serving alcohol in terms of venues uh, in Singapore, um, most of our guests has actually chose to start drinking earlier. But that at the same time uh, would mean that they are looking for a low alcoholic option or even a zero proof option just so that they can kind of sustain throughout the entire night you know, and be able to consume alcohol responsibly as well. Many diners like to start their meal with an aperitif. Traditionally, this is an alcoholic drink taken before a meal to stimulate the appetite. But new market players have sprung up to satisfy the thirst for non-alcoholic alternatives. What we've done is selected Asian botanicals and so on the nose, you have you know a floral, fruity, goji berries, your hibiscus, your pomegranate, but when you drink it, you taste a lot more of the Asian spices and the warmth of the raw cacao, and it has a very elegant dry bitter finish, somewhat like a red wine. Malati calls itself Asia's first non-alcoholic aperitif. It costs 68 Singapore dollars, or about 50 US dollars, for a half-litre bottle. That's comparable or even more expensive than alcoholic spirits like gin and vodka. According to Wisecrack, a distributor of non-alcohol drinks, there are reasons for this price premium. Right, so there's actually a lot more work there, so you have more ingredients that go in because you have to dissolve it in water rather than in alcohol. Most of them make smaller batches, so the costs for the producers are higher. Um, and also, I guess, just generally the size of the industry. Logistics are very costly these days. Alcohol is actually a really, really good uh, flavor carrier. But at the same time, it's another challenge that we, I would say I embrace um, to translate, I would say, similar levels of flavor profiles from a cocktail that is, you know, regular in uh, alcohol proof um, to a low or no uh, beverage option. According to Euromonitor, the growth of the non- and low-alcohol sector will be one of the leading post-pandemic trends. It forecasts that the total consumption of alcoholic beverages in the Asia-Pacific will fall by almost 5% by 2024. And that demand for non-alcoholic and low-alcohol beer will rise by almost 19%. For non-alcohol beer, the taste shouldn't differ too much from the alcoholic version. So people are more receptive to trying it, especially the more health-conscious consumers. However, for spirits, there, there's more uh, spirits as a category is more dynamic and there is more opportunities to have different kinds of taste.
No one ever gathers over a glass of water. You're always looking for a sophisticated drinking experience with more flavor, with good conversation, and the discovery of something new. That's why I think it's just the start for Singapore and this side of the world in Asia. Definitely people are going to be demanding more discerning drinks, more sophisticated drinking options, and we're here to provide for that.